Without paying $200 for O1 Pro just to use OpenAI operator, I'm going to show you how you can build your own open source OpenAI operator. Rather, it is not from OpenAI, but you can still use your OpenAI API key and then use it. This is from a company called BrowserBase. They already have web agents, but they've put together a very small project that can enable you create something exactly like OpenAI operator. First, I would like to show you the demo of how it works. Then we can quickly see the GitHub repo and then what is the technology that powers it if you go to open.operator.com and then go give some question for example i gave a question what is the latest score of sec versus jsk this is a cricket tournament that is happening in south africa this just ended a couple of hours back so unless until it is using google search or some kind of search it cannot come up with an answer so when I gave this question, it first understood that it has to navigate to this website, which is google.com, that is go to, and then in the second step, it is acting. So now it is trying to find on that particular page, where is the score? And then it immediately found the score and then it gave me, okay, Sunrisers, Eastern Cape scored this much and uh, JSK scored this much. And then the task is successfully completed. And then it said the agent has completed the task. And this is exactly what OpenAI operator does, but inside a virtual environment where you would have less control of what it is storing, what it is doing. But this is powered by an open source project. When I say open source project, the browser agent itself is open source. The underlying framework that is powering the browser agent is open source, but still you need to use an API key, something like OpenAI's gpt 40 or any other model that you have got. So how is this happening? This is happening thanks to two different technologies. If I just refresh this page, you can see that this is open operator, which is just open AI's open source version. It is powered by two things. One, it is powered by stage hand. Second, it is powered by browser base. If you know browser base, this is like a web automation agent and stage hand is a framework that is helping you do the same thing. So stage hand is AI web browsing framework. All you have to do is NPX create browser app. So this is going to help you do the browser automation. So something like Playwright, but to a next level. So if you have used Playwright, this is like Selenium for browsers, just browser automations, go click here, do things. This is going to take Playwright, extend it for what you want to do with natural language. So you can say, okay, go to this particular website. So you can give a task, for example, if somebody is asking for something, you can create a task, go to google.com with this, and then it will just go to google.com. So this is one. And the second one is obviously their own framework, which is browser based. So you can go see how browser based works. It's a web browser for your AI. So you can create it. You can run it in headless mode, a lot of different things. Now, what they've done is they've taken these two, they've combined it, and then they've put together this GitHub repo. The GitHub repo is available. Currently, there is no license available. So if you want to use it for commercial purpose, you have to keep it in mind. So it's very simple. All you have to do is you need to have a couple of keys. One key is from OpenAI, you need to use your OpenAI key. The second key is you need to get a browser based API key, which is from their own website. Once you have these keys, OpenAI API key, browser based API key, browser based project ID, then you can run this locally within your computer. Mind you, when I say when you run this locally within your computer, it is not like OpenAI operator running within a virtual environment. Rather, it is running in your local computer, but still your data would be sent to let's say browser base or open AI. So if you are going to do something sensitive, I would say like you shouldn't do it because this is like a very small project at this particular point. And uh, if you want to just use it as hobby project, I think you should straight away go ahead and then do it. How does it work? It's very simple. Agent goes, click sign in, agent does certain things. And uh, under the hood, what is saying? Like it does the same thing that open AI is doing. It takes screenshot, understands what's on the page, tries to make an action based on that and then it does the action and uh, in this case it's a browser agent so it would understand more things than what OpenAI is doing which is just a pixel base it just takes a photo and then does it but here the the stage hand has like slightly more better automation in this particular case there are like a couple of technologies that are like powering this you can see what are those browser based stage and next js open ai but the most important thing is it's just a repo now all you have to do is if you want to deploy it within like your local computer, within your own server, um, you can easily do it. I'm going to show you a live demo of how to use it. So for example, I can go here and then say, what is, what is the current stock of Meta? 
okay um i'm going to just click run it once i click run it you can actually see that the goal is to find the current stock price i should have said price and you can see the browser is open and it's like kind of you can have a control also They're very similar like what opening it does anytime you want you can take control so it's gone to google because it it has the step one which is to go to google and uh, what is the reasoning google is a comprehensive search engine that can provide the most up-to-date information on meta's current stock price from various reliable financial news sources and stock market platforms as you can see here it's not super fast it takes its own sweet time so the next step is to type the query so you can see it's most likely going to type here and i hope i'm not like disturbing it with the mouse cursor meta stock price in the search bar and uh, you can see it has started typing meta i'm not like my hands are like uh, out i'm not doing anything there you can see it has already try typing meta stock price and uh, it is almost done i guess it has to enter like click enter so or like take the mouse and then press the search button so the reasoning here is to find the current stock price we need to perform a search query on google the search bar is visible so it it has taken the screenshot understood that uh, the query is the next logical step to retrieve the desired information so uh, I'm just waiting for it to see if it is going to click its own button. You can see it is going to Google Singapore, I guess. Like maybe that's like the IP address they've given. It is still processing. One thing I can do is I can probably go there and then just click the Google search and help it. But for now, I don't want to do it. And you have got two options. You have got mouse as an option. You have got the touch screen as an option. I've not done anything. Okay, it has pressed enter at this point. It went. I'm surprised that Google has not given it on the home page. I mean, generally Google gives the uh, stock price on the home page. Right now, it is not there. It is scrolling up. You can see it's scrolling, and uh, it is trying to figure out. Uh, probably it might go to the second page. Is it? No. It's just like doing what we would do. Uh, scrolling up, scrolling down, and uh, I guess it might click Yahoo Finance. Let's see. No, it's not. It's. It's just like. It's got a brain freeze moment at this point. There is no brain, so I I, I could say GPU freeze moment, and uh, it is waiting. Uh, let's see if there is anything else happening here. It's still processing. So the agent uh, will not rest until the objective is finished. The search result page is displayed, but Meta current stock price is not immediately visible. So the next step is to click on a relevant link that is likely to display the current stock price. So it such as a financial website platform or a stock market platform and very correctly it managed to click yahoo finance and once it clicked yahoo finance you can see the rate at this point so now when it takes the screenshot it should know that 646 dollars is meta stock price it should ideally take the task to a completion state so you can see that it has completed the task the only catch here is that the previous session got completed the browser dev tools engine something got disconnected so i had to redo the task but you can see that it successfully got the price 646 usd with a change of nine dollars which is like 1.52 percentage and the entire thing is like the screenshot of yahoo finance page clearly shows the stock price of meta which is this and it successfully fulfills the goal of getting the current stock price it's quite effective you can do like you can even control yourself like certain things like, instead of waiting for the agent to do so for example if i say what is the current stock price of meta uh, it would go to google but you don't have to wait for it to actually type something so you can accelerate the process and type it because every time you take control of it and then leave it at a particular stage so i, I can just go here and then say meta stock price and i can do this and i can just go click here and it would take the latest screenshot from there so maybe it would you know take a little bit of few seconds to get the steps sorted from whatever it is currently in the browser but having the ability for us to take control and then do it is exactly like what openai promised the only thing is yeah see it is done so it's like a human in the loop uh, or human augmented machine web agent kind of a stuff i am pretty excited that you know just within a day after openai launch something like this have come to truth or um, you know it, it it is available for us to use and you don't have to pay 200 dollars you don't have to be in the us you can be anywhere and then do everything and i will link it in the youtube description let me know like when you try this out how do you feel it 
I would say first you go to their website and then try it out. And then if you want to replicate, then you can download the report and then do it. All you have to do is register on their website and open a website. I'm still looking forward to more open source projects where we don't even have to use any sort of, uh, let's say web agent like browser based in this case, pure VLM vision language model based one. So probably in the next few days, I'll be able to put out a tutorial, but for now, this is quite exciting and uh, very efficient. I would say like, I, uh, I'm not sure like how protection ready this is, but you should be able to use it without a lot of um, hassle in this particular case. Let me know what do you think about this kind of open source implementation of operator or any other tools and technologies that people love. See you in another video. Happy prompting.